An omniscient God is not a force. An omniscient God pays every attention to every detail of your life. He knows, He feels, He loves, He cares. He's concerned. He's not a force. A force does not love. A force does not feel. A force does not know. A force is just a force. But this God, omniscient God, God who knows everything, the God of David says, I know every detail of your life. I even number. I even know the number of hair in your head. This is our God. God who pays attention. This big, beautiful God. Infinite God. Sipi mo, di ba? Lord, let go. Pero mabibilangin mo ako. Ipapagapitin na ako. Sayang yan. He wants. That's to that extreme that He's saying, I know every detail of your life and the number of hair in your head. This God who knows everything about us, our sin, our past, our mistakes, decided to do something. Romans 5.8. Here's what he decided upon. Romans 5.8, he says, Why? But God, this all-knowing God, this omniscient God, demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. This God who knows everything about me, this God who knows that I failed Him, offended Him, sometimes even cursed Him, decided that I'm going to play a role in this book. That my life is already ordained before it even comes to pass all the days of my life. This is my God. Yeah, instead of wallowing in condemnation, self-pity, how unworthy you are, which we really are, but through Christ, we've been redeemed and given a new life. We were set free from the effect of sin. Instead of just saying, Ah, Lord, parang David, yung first response niya, Ah, kasalanan ako, alam mo lahat, Lord. Instead of looking at that angle, why don't you look at this angle and be literally? And see that, here's this God who knows every detail of my life, chooses to love me. That's my God. I don't response not that. What should be a response? Here's how David responded in Psalms 139. Verse 23. He says, Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. David, though he knew God knows, still says, God, search me. Kaya kasi alam natin God knows, pero pagka God is searching, pumapalag na tayo. Lord, ayaw ko na yan. Medyo personal ka na. Medyo mahirap na yung pinapagawa mo sa akin, Lord. But here was David saying, Lord, you have the life. Search me. Know my heart. Test me. Know my anxious thoughts. Things that we worry about every day. Alam mo yun, the things that we worry about every day, there's something else there. Worry is a sin. And it goes deeper than sin. It's unbelief when we worry. And David was saying, even my unbelief, look at it, Lord. See if there's any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. I love how he rephrases phrases this and says, Lord, if there's any offensive way in me, if there's any offensive way in me, tell me nothing. No, no, he says, if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. I think this is what's the difference. I talked to a guy this earlier, shared the story. He separated with his wife for months already. And he said, Pastor, I've done everything in the book. Worked with her, gave her food, uh, loved my mother-in-law, did everything, and nothing's happened. I think this is where the secret lies. On our own, to deal with sin and this all-knowing God, God knows. Right? In your main thesis, that in need of God knows. And to do it my own way would be a useless exercise. 
it's knowing that God knows and saying, God, I know you know. And I'm opening up my life. Search me. Know me. Test me. Bring some trials there, Lord. Test me. And if there's any sin in my life, lead me. Goes back to Christ. Goes back to Him leading us to that way everlasting. You cannot do it on your own. You need this God. You need to back on to this God who loves us, forgives us, knows everything about us. Now, what's a practical application for this one? It's something that I think is very important. A lot of us, we know God knows. But there's something that you need to know. It's this. For you to find good health, it's not enough that God knows. God created community. God created church. This is where some of the people, that, these are some of the people that God has placed in your life. Somebody you need to open up with, talk to. Not filtering your thoughts, but just saying it out. You're saying, these are my thoughts. I know God knows, but somebody needs to know. I don't know, but maybe some of you here, sagabi, iyak kayo nang iyak. God knows. You've been crying. You've been saying everything to Him. And hirap na hirap ka. And the same is liberating. Nalam mo pag may pinagdadaan ka, tapos walang may alam, tapos si God may alam, it's liberating. At least may isang nakakalap si Lord. But that's not how life was made, created. We were created for community. We want you to even get into victory group. We have victory groups that happens every day of the week. And God knows, I know. A lot of things you don't know about me, God knows. But Jason knows. Also, Pastor Chinky knows. Larry knows. My wife knows. Why? It helps me. God has placed people in my life. That means I'm out of my big name problem. I go to God. Lord, fear of the Lord. Sige, sabihin mo rin kay Jason. Last week, may kausap na ako, Pastor Fred, ko bakit? May kailangan ako labas eh. Kailangan ko labas. Hindi ko pwedeng isarili. Did I pray to God? Oh, yes. Almost every day, Lord. Bakit gano'y feeling? But at the same time, I open up to someone that I trust. It's just knowing that there's people that God has surrounded you with to help you in this journey experience and victory that we have already in Christ. God knows every detail of your life. And I hope our response would be this. Lord, the God who knows everything, I surrender. Lead me. Lead me, Lord.